Yeah, so the project was inaugurated uh, about a month after the first report from the Director of National Intelligence to Congress talking about unidentified anomalous phenomena. Uh, and of course, there are two possible interpretations. One is that the intelligence agencies are not doing their job. These are drones or other uh, objects that are manufactured by adversarial nations. And of course, that's a major national security uh, issue that uh, uh, and, and also an, a very unusual admission that uh, they're not doing their job, if, if true. Um, of course, we all know about the uh, Chinese balloon uh, that uh, was shut down, and that's an example for an object that was relatively large, uh, you know, and, and was only noticed after some alerts from uh, citizens and people who saw it. Um, and then the second possibility is, of course, that we are the last generation uh, of people who know what it feels uh, like uh, assuming that we are alone in the universe. The, you know, the cosmologists of the day um, say that the universe is pointless. Uh, and that's because when you look up the sky, uh, you know, you imagine a, a collection of particles, stars, galaxies, uh, without life in it. But if there is a partner out there, an intelligent civilization, then of course, uh, the environment would not feel uh, as lonely to us and also we might be inspired to do better than we currently do on this rock that we call Earth because we are obsessed with uh, conflicts, with uh, territorial disputes, uh, identity disputes, uh, while there is much more real estate out there. So it would be a major uh, development if we realize that we are not alone.